Let's take a look at what's trending after hours. We got five stocks for you, only one in the green. Let's kick it off with Disney. We're looking at losses of just around 6%. The company missing on both the top and bottom lines. Also reporting losses in its DTC business of just around one and a half billion dollars. That's a cause for concern here, and that's why we're seeing the stock off just around 6% over the past three months. You're looking at Disney with losses of just about 8% year to date. The company off just about 35%. Flipping over to AMC, this stock off just around 5.5% after hours. The company is actually beating on the top and bottom lines. Attendance was up 33% from a year ago to 53 million, still significantly lower than the levels that we were looking at pre-pandemic. CEO Adam Aaron saying that, that the company has been impacted by a soft box office during the quarter. Year to date, you're looking at a stock off just around 79%. Taking a look at a firm big mover here after hours, a stock off nearly 18%, a wider than expected loss. Q2 revenue guidance missing the street's expectations as well as the company's full year revenue guidance. Over the past three months, the stock off just about 55%. Certainly has been a tough time here for shareholders. Year to date, it's off just about 84%. Taking a look at Novavax, the only mover here after hours, that we're taking a look at that's moving to the upside, up nearly a 3%. The company beating on revenue, 734.6 million EPS, missing the street's expectations, although losses have narrowed. So Wall Street taking that as a positive note. You're looking at year-to-date losses, though, just about 86%. Wrapping up with Marathon Digital Holdings, that crypto play was off in the regular session. Now you're seeing losses of just about 2% after hours. Company reporting a wider-than-expected loss revenue of 75%. From a year ago, year to date, up just about 70%. Rochelle? 